Hey, welcome back to We Ride Motos. I'm Glenn. And I'm Cherry. In this episode, we leave Mike and Shelly and head back east. With our tour guide patiently waiting for their next guest, we left Mike and Shelley. It was a bit cool and foggy this morning, uh, but we didn't have too far to go before our first stop, which is just in Riano at the big bridge. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful landscape there, but unfortunately this morning it was too foggy to see the mountains behind. Once Carrie had stopped taking photos of the bridge, we headed out and the fog had lifted and it was great. It was a beautiful ride. <laughs> Although it is good she takes lots of photos. <laughs> uh, headed east because we're going to meet up with our friends Guy and Gail in Para Frugali Something. on the east coast just north of Bar Barcelona. So that's where we're off to today. In our typical fashion, we waited to the, the day of, and we <laughs> booked tonight's hotel while we were having coffee at the gas station. We did. Yeah, and Carrie found us this nice little hotel, a little off the beaten path in a little town called, I'm looking at my notes, called Diano. That sounds I'm right. I'm gonna go with that. Yeah, it was just a 15 minutes from where we had stopped, which in this case was not quite long enough for them to be ready for us. <laughs> Yeah, and not only were they not ready for us, there was nobody in the reception. There was no, this hotel was empty. Yeah. There was nobody there. We came in the one gate that was open, went up to the hotel, thinking maybe we aren't going to even have a house tonight. Went in, there was keys on the counter with other people's names on it, but not ours. Yeah. Um, but thankfully, uh, another guest came in uh, who did speak Spanish, we were able to phone Reception. the receptionist and she could speak to her enough to, to figure out where our key was and what it was. And <laughs> we eventually got checked in and, and yeah. it all worked out. 
So we had the whole place to ourselves. The restaurant was closed. I guess we were too off season for it to be open. And this little town had no restaurants. So no. it was a, the only food around was some half rotten apples on the trees outside. So we opted to fast that night. Yeah, so <laughs> Carrie went for a walk, got some photos and I tended to Pepe. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we get up and we're not sleeping in this morning because at 3 a.m. the garbage truck came and <laughs> blared his horn in town to, I guess, let everybody know he's in town. So we packed up, left our strange hotel and headed into town looking for breakfast, which unfortunately was not to be found because no. we left too early. I think it was about an hour and a half before we finally came across somewhere yeah. that was open and we could yeah. have our coffee. Another one of our home. meal adventures in <laughs> Europe. Uh, for lunch, we found that neat little town, Haka, I believe it was called. It had a star-shaped military installation of some type, but I think it was closed maybe for maybe the season, uh, I'm not no, sure. We're off-season, things yeah. are random. They did have a nice farmer's market there, mm -hmm. so we went in and I, I found some cheese and I found some, um, some kind of dried sausage thing. And, yeah. Picked up that and then we wandered into town to look around and they had a lot of, uh, a lot of artists, seems like a lot of artist stuff mm -hmm. there, a lot of artwork. Yes. And they had a fantastic looking lunch, which I wish I would have <laughs> found before we had our other lunch, which wasn't bad, but yeah. this looks a lot better. Yeah. So we wrapped up the second day in the town of Ainsa, took a little tour through the old town. We watched a couple motorcycle tours cruise in, and I think I ate a peach and all that sausage that I had bought at the farmer's market. Called it a day. So on day three of our travels east, uh, we leave Ainsa and we are headed out again. We found, uh, actually on Mike's recommendation, we found a nice, fun, mm -hmm. twisty road. Okay. Made for a really good day of riding.
true to fashion on how we book things. We're waiting to the last minute to book again. <laughs> we ended up getting a little spa complex, uh, apartment in this little spa complex, which is really nice actually. They had a nice pool and hot tub. So the nice thing with the spa is we got to go to the pool and the hot tub and believe it or not, they actually had a place to rock to wash the motorcycles off. Yeah, it was great. Had a pressure washer, soap, towels, the whole nine yards. Yeah. And since Pepe hadn't had a bath for probably a, a year, year. <laughs> it was time. So, yes. that, so we, after we had our soap, we went and watched Pepe. Yep, Pepe got a bath. Mm -hmm. In the next episode, we make the last run into Para Ugali and meet up with Guy and Gail. We do, very exciting. So we're backpacking today. Backpack. <laughs> we're back. We're backtracking today. <laughs>